Hi, this is Peter Dark Clairvoyant here, and I'm just sort of doing an update on how I basically work, but I'm also going to do a video on how you should be when you sort of come to uh, a show, which I've never done that before, and I don't think any other mediums are perhaps doing it. I think that'll be an interesting video to watch for everybody to look at and have a little think about. So first off, my shows are called A Psychic and Spiritual Show. Now, I know lots of shows that are out there, and they do say they're psychic and spiritual or just psychic which is great but there is such a massive difference between psychic and spiritual so this is why I say my shows are psychic and spiritual so basically on the spiritual side this is where we connect uh, with a loved one in spirit or maybe somebody might come through whether they're a friend or an acquaintance and that's sometimes very unusual and it does happen sometimes you don't even know them but they may connect with you in some kind of way but that's another kind of story but basically we get different people coming through in spirit so we connect so I connect with somebody from spirit and they either talk about themselves um, perhaps what they've gone through, maybe what they've passed with, um, any situations that they've dealt with, places they live, you know, memories. It, it can be many, many different things that can possibly come through. Okay. But then sometimes spirit will just want to talk about you. But what I always say with spirit is sometimes it's to me, this is how I work anyway, and how I think about it. I can't sort of comment on other readers. But I look at it as when I sort of feel spirit, I, well, first off, I sense, I feel, and I see, and I hear, okay? And the only sort of sense I haven't really had or gift is smell, whether that might come to me later, but I've never had that feeling of smell, so to speak. So it comes to me in different ways. And to me, it's like a jigsaw. Now, I always say in my shows, with psychic, I know what it's all about, where it's kind of going and heading. But spirit, I haven't got a clue. And that's so true. So I'm getting all this information. I have no idea what they're on about. I just give it the way I kind of feel it or sense it. And I need you to sort of try and listen to me and figure it out where it sort of fits around you. And... Sometimes I might feel it's this, what I'm saying, but it might not quite be. So let's just say I might be drawn to water for some reason, I might say something about water and I might feel a, a swimming pool. But it's spirit saying, right, I know that information about a swimming pool. So they're giving me that connection of a swimming pool. But sometimes it might not be exactly the swimming pool, but the water's there. But you might make sense of it in a slightly different way. So it's not that I'm right or wrong. It's just the way sort of spirit is showing it me so I can understand it. It's very difficult to kind of explain that, but it, it sometimes you've got to be in real life situations when something's coming through to really kind of explain it. But they can show it me in different ways so, to, so I can understand it and give it to you. And you might get it straight away, but then sometimes if you don't quite understand it, just broaden your thoughts a little bit it, and see where it might make sense. And hopefully you can do that straight away. If not, you need time to think about it, or maybe you've got to go and ask family uh, and see if you can make sense of it that way. Okay, um, so that's that. And then I do get names, um, but not constantly and all the time. Um, but when I do get names, it can be to do with the person in spirit. It could be somebody that's connected on the earth plane or somebody that they've connected in spirit. So sometimes when I'm giving a name out and show, I will always say, if I feel it's their name, I will say it's their name. OK, um, but then sometimes when I say a name, you're just sometimes so focused that that's their name. And, and if you can't make sense of that name, then just push the name aside a little bit and just focus on the energy that I'm talking about. Because like I said before, the name could be somebody that they've connected with in spirit or somebody on the earth plane around you. But even if you still can't make sense of it, just push that name aside. Don't focus just solely on the name because it's the whole message or information that's the important bit. Sometimes names are just like a little bit of extra, but it isn't the key to everything, where sometimes we think it is. So don't let the name distract you so much, okay?
So that's basically how I work sort of on that sort of spiritual side, okay? And then sometimes I do get things to help, to do with health, but I don't tell you negative things that we can't fix, you know, as if to say, oh, I've got cancer coming through and, you know, you're not going to be here tomorrow. I, 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 you know, it's, it's not nice and it's not good. I know these things happen, but I tend to just bring things through that we know we can fix. It's there to help and guide you and put you on the right path a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, there has been the odd time where I brought something through like that, but it's basically spirit is just so adamant that we can beat this, but we've got to do certain things, maybe certain changes, and spirit's just trying to guide you because they want you to still be here tomorrow. So if I do touch on it, it is for a reason, but it's very rare. It's normally things that I know we can fix, but again, cancer is something that can be fixed, but not always, okay? Um... I do get something what I call a little bit dark. So what I mean by that, it's tend to somebody's perhaps taken their own life. And not nice, uh, not easy to talk about. Um, but so if I get something like that, I will ask you if it's okay. And it's sometimes the way they take their own life, it can be, you know, not easy. Uh, so I will ask you, is it okay to talk about this? So not scary, scary, but just not nice. And if you don't want it, I'll leave it, find something else, um, or try to come back to you a little bit later if there's nothing else to come through, okay? Sometimes I do get things to do with babies that have passed. I always say it in a very nice, gentle way. I always look at babies as your little guardian angels in spirit that are there for you. I tend to think when I get a very young energy of a baby that's perhaps fairly recent or still a child, um, I always look at them that they bring the love and the laughter to lift you up a little bit, so that's nice. Um, so that's good. Um, I do feel in my eyes that spirit, that children do grow in spirit. Um, so when the younger, they don't really give me messages, but as they get older, they will. So if they're still at that sort of young age, say up to 10, 12, 13, they're perhaps more in the joyful aspect. But I always say as they come forward more in the future, that they will open up and give you guidance because they'll have that knowledge and experience. Because like I say, children do grow in spirit. So that's good. Um, children do pass in many ways. I've brought miscarriages through. I've brought stillbirths through. Um, the only thing I haven't brought her through, and we, I had a conversation about this with somebody the other day, and this is like, to me, it's like, woo. And if you are going to bring this through as a medium, I think you've got to do it very, very carefully, and you can't just burst it out because it's so insensitive, and that's abortions. And, you know, everybody, you know, well, not everybody, but, you know, at some point, somebody has done something like that for whatever reasons it may be. Uh, and some people agree on it and don't, but I wouldn't just burst that out. Um, so I don't know how spirit would bring that. I've not, I, to be honest, personally, I've not connected with that kind of energy. Um, I, I'd have to sort of see if something like that came through, how, how I would say it. But I know personally, because I like to think of you as a person um, and, and how other people, you know, I can't just burst it out because you could be looked on quite negatively by others by doing that because of others. But, you know, you, you can't sort of say that, can you really? Because we've all do things for different reasons and they can be, reasons for you and whatever they are, they're personal. So I don't want to go too deep in that because it's like getting very political into it in a sense. Um, so I, I understand, you know, when people do things like this, there's always valid reasons. Um, yeah, so I'd have to think very carefully. I, I will probably not mention that it was this and I would just probably keep it simple that there's a baby there in spirit. And that's how I would do it. So just that's more for you if you know that you're coming to a show of mine and if something like that has happened in your life personally and you've gone through that, um, you know, I'm not just going to burst it out and embarrass you because I just I just would not work like that, okay? I, I have so much sensitivity to the situation, okay? So that's that's good with that. OK, um, anything else that feels I would need to touch on uh, with things like that? Uh, I can't think of anything at the moment. OK, so let's go to the psychic side. So with the psychic side, this is where I always say, don't worry too much if you don't quite get or understand what I'm talking about, because sometimes 
It's what I call, um, sometimes it's like you're living in today and I'm seeing tomorrow. So sometimes if you don't quite get it, what I'm saying on the psychic level, you've got to wait for things to unfold a little bit because I'm looking into the future. But I do find nine times out of ten, um, you kind of get or get the just of what I'm trying to say. Like I was doing a show last night. And I just knew I got self-employment. I could see this man struggling with it, kind of getting it going or get the business going. Um, and then sometimes, again, it's what I call my black and white, as I call it. Uh, why I just My black and white is I see self-employment. Uh, my shades of grey, as I call it, is I don't know whether he's doing this business now or it's in the future. OK, because I, again, I only see snippets like a jigsaw. So I was quite blunt and I asked this person, I said, oh, are you self-employed? And he says, no. And I said, right, well, are you thinking about it? Because I see self-employment with you. And he said, yes. Uh, so that was great. So we were on the right path. I got the right person. Uh, and that was brilliant. And I, and I started talking to him about it. So, you know, sometimes it isn't always now. It's it's tomorrow. Tomorrow you're waiting for it to come. OK, so, you know, that's how to sort of look at that side of things. OK. Um, and with Saki, I can bring many things through um, to do a career, to do a family, to do a relationship. So, there's so many things into that going on in our personal lives. So we've got the psychic and spiritual. But I sometimes do say quite funnily because psychic and spiritual show, I just feel so, oh, this is on a psychic level, which I will stand by that. But who's to say that you might be upset that, oh, I really wanted somebody from spirit coming through. But who's to say it wasn't somebody in spirit who was telling me to give you this message, but they just didn't want to show the face for whatever reason. Or they weren't really meant to come through that way, but it was like they were giving me that energy. Because psychic levels coming from somewhere, my belief uh, to me, psychic and spiritual, I, I know they're very different and they are very different, but to me, it's all that spiritual energy. I know the spiritual churches will disagree with me on that, de definitely, and I, and I get that. It, it is. There is psychic, there is spirit, they are two different things. But where is it all coming from? You know, I say I'm drawing to spirit. Is it really spirit coming through, or is it I'm just picking up on your energy and I can feel your loved ones pass? That's a, a debate for another story, isn't it? You know, but I'm not saying spirit isn't real, just feeling the energy. But there's just different ways of looking in it. So I'm, I'm, I believe in spirit because I do this, but I'm just sort of trying to put it into kind of context of sort of looking in a slightly different way, as if to say, where is psychic coming from? Where is spirit coming from? You know, it could be that, you know, they are there, which I do believe, but I could be getting them through your energy. But who say that's right or wrong? We all have different ways of looking at it. So just don't be disappointed. But the thing is also, uh, when I do draw you on a psychic level, sometimes then spirit do want to come through after my pick up on someone. So that that's how I work with my psychic and, and spiritual shows. And, you know, it's, it's like I, I give some really great messages out last night. You know, some that were sort of kind of bang on, maybe needed a little bit adjusting some of them if you know what I mean and and maybe some people had to go away and think about it a little bit and then there's some then I know I brought one person through last night and you know this person just didn't get that person but maybe you know they've got to go away and think about it or maybe it wasn't quite family the way I was perhaps thinking about it and it could have been or whatever situation it was and maybe it's another sort of spirit kind of coming through but sometimes you know like I say spirit can be fast we've got let's say as an individual you've got loved ones that you know if you're married you've got your partner's loved ones are going back you've got friends you've got friends of friends spirit can be fast I can't pick and choose who comes through so it's whoever wants to come through. And if it's if you know them, it's great, it's wonderful, it's brilliant. But if not, don't just dismiss it, but just take the energy. It's like they know that they, they it's nice that they, they know that you are there and they're coming through to you, they're giving you something. And maybe you got to think about what they're saying, and maybe you might connect with somebody where you then can suddenly make sense of that person, and maybe you could perhaps let them know that they came through, and that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? So, like I say, it's 
it's a very sort of strange kind of gift that we have and and it works in so many different ways and on so many different levels so yes so yeah so i hope you can kind of make sense of that i hope you understand how i say it's like a jigsaw to me and i'm trying to work it out and i need you to sort of think about it and help me put the pieces together and that would be wonderful if you can do that but do bear in mind as well I've got one or two minutes with you trying to figure all this out. I'm putting you on the spot to try and sort of figure it out. So, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of time to process it. I always say you either get it straight away or it's the light bulb moment as we go through the show. It might just suddenly dawn on to you a little bit later. And or you might have to go in as family. And one more thing as well. I always say I'm I'm quite direct when we message you, so I pick people out. Uh, I don't throw it out like some mediums do, especially in the spiritualist churches. Uh, and that's great. We all work differently. There's no right. There's no wrong. We all work differently. Like I know I'm a very different uh, reader, stroke medium, psychic to others, and and I'm not going to try and be like them. I'm my own. I have my own unique way. Um, like every medium, you know, you either love me, you hate me, you know, it's like anybody, you know, you're going to like one person for this, you're going to like that person for that, you know, and also do bear in mind, it might not quite make sense today, but you could come see me another time and it's like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that, because it's all in that moment as well, okay. Um, also, something I wanted to say as well, like I say, when I pick people out, um, I could feel like I'm with you, but sometimes spirit do like to play tricks on me a little bit or I'm just being drawn there naturally and, and it might not connect with you. So if I feel like it isn't connecting with you, then I always say, right, I'm going to throw it out. So I'll either work in that area, I'll say, and if it doesn't make sense to anybody close to you, then I will throw it out to the room and, and hopefully then somebody else can pick it up. And, and if they can, then I'm with that person. But if nobody can take it, then I have to come back to you because nobody else is accepting it. OK, so that's how I work with that, so to speak. But this is my real pain. <laughs> OK, um, sometimes I give messages out and and it's like I'm not with that person. I throw it out and nobody's putting their hand up. And then somebody at the end of the show will either, you know, be brave enough and come to me and say, I think that message was of me. Why didn't you put your hand up? Because if you feel it's with you, don't just sit there quiet. Accept that message. Because once that message comes through and you accept it, sometimes it gets stronger. And also you could be missing out on something important that they want to tell you. So don't just sit there quiet. Even if it doesn't make sense to you, like Prime, I sort of, my first message I was drawn to uh, at the back of the room, I said, I'm like, I said, I feel like I'm with you, but I want to draw to the table. And there was three ladies sitting on the table and I brought out somebody and I did say, I feel like I've got spirit coming through here, but I'm going to be honest here. I don't know who the spirit is and the person that I'm talking about, I don't feel like they're in spirit. I feel like they're here on the earth plane and they're living. And it's not very nice, this, and I, and I feel horrible talking about this, but it's coming through, I've got to say it, and I feel like I've got a young child here, and, and I feel like time went by, and it wasn't really known until certain things unfolded, and I got a child who was being abused. And this table couldn't take it, but this lovely lady at the back of me, at the back of them, put her hand up, and she accepted the message, and she knew who it was. It wasn't connected, I don't think it was connected closely to her, but she knew who it was. Uh, and she accepted it and that was brilliant and I love that because that makes me feel good it energizes me moving forward especially on the first message but she could have sort of kept quiet and that would have put a downer then on the whole energy of of the night because then I feel like mm, yeah it's it's nobody's accepted well that's not feel good puts me a little bit mm. and then the whole room can be thinking oh my god first message and he's got it wrong he's crap and it sets that sets that mood, don't it? So please, please, even if you're not sure, we will work it out together. And if, if it isn't you, I'll just say, thank you for putting your hand up, but I don't feel like I'm with you. I'm sticking with you. And that's fine. But then it could be with you. So please be brave and say something. 
um, because yeah, it, it can work that way, you see. So, you know, just be brave and sort of say something. It's good for you, it's good for me, it sets the mood of the evening moving forward. And even if it isn't that first message, whatever message it is, okay. And, and I was going to talk about something else, but I thought instead of doing a separate video, I'm just going to do it all in one video so people don't miss it for some reason. Right, so what do you need to do when you're in an audience a show? Okay. Oh, before I go to that, sometimes I do do um, tarot card messages. And... The, and, and, I, and I, what I've done is I've gone back to giving the envelope on the seat. Now, I don't do it on every show. So if there are a reasonably small show, say anything from 20 up to about 30, 40, I'll do it because it's a nice number to get round. And, and I like to do it because it gives you something like as if to say because not everybody gets a message in a show that's unfortunate that's just the way it is and a show is about you listening to other people's messages um so i like to do that because then it's like at least you go away with something but then sometimes the shows are too big where i can't get round everybody um so i have to judge it whether it's the right thing to do so sometimes i do sometimes i don't okay um what I've also started doing, and I did it for the first time last night, and it went down really well. I made a bit of audience par participation, and, and I've said, right, who wants to be Mystic Meg? So I pick somebody out of the audience, uh, they come up, they shuffle the tarot cards out, uh, they think about um, who they want to draw to in the audience, and then they pick a card out, and they help read it. And I know perhaps you've never worked with tarot before or you don't know it, so I'll help you along a little bit, but I do get you to look at it to see if you're drawn to it, a picture, something draws to you. And one lady, she wasn't, you know, and done anything like this before, and she saw a flower and she picked growth out. I thought, bloody yeah, that's brilliant. And, and it was really good fun. So I'm going to do that a little bit more moving forward, a little bit of audience participation. It's a bit of fun for you. Right, so that's that. So what should you be doing in a show? So I just feel like one thing, and it, this happened last night, and it, and it just changed the energy terribly, is whatever you do, don't have too much to drink, please. I want you to enjoy yourself. I want you to be sociable with your friends. But whatever you do, have a drink. And if you can handle two or three drinks, great. You have two or three drinks. I'm not saying don't. But whatever you do, don't get drunk. Please don't get drunk. Because that then can cause an issue. And it, it's it's like then sometimes you could be getting drunk because you, you're nervous. You're perhaps wanting somebody through to come in particular. And then that medium might not draw to that person. And then all of a sudden you can get a little bit, hmm. And, and it's like you can then start maybe moaning or whatever it may be or causing a situation and that upsets other people and it just causes a problem, okay? And also, not just that, let's just, think, let's just say you're a little bit drunk and you're not causing a scene, which is lovely. Um, you're just doing it to calm your energy down, so to speak, and that's okay. But then I might give you a message but because you're a little bit drunk, you're not thinking clearly, you might not understand what I'm saying. And prime example is this, as I did one back in January, I think I did. And really, I made a big mistake because he wasn't really originally booked in. He just paid a ticket the last minute and he was quite drunk, I could tell, but I let him in and I'm never doing it again. Um, and, and I did pick him out. Um, and I got somebody coming through, I think I remember it, it was to do with, I saw him in a wheelchair and, and I said he was in spirit. But again, remember to me, I have no idea what they're telling me and it's like a jigsaw to me. So even me, I might not go out and get it right the way I'm seeing it. But part of that jigsaw was, I saw a person um, in you know, the wheelchair. Anyway, because I said all this, he was looking for one particular person come through and he was getting quite abusive with me and quite nasty. Um, and then because of that, I couldn't think straight. He put me in a sort of a very nervous sort of kind of energy. And 
if he was calmer, I could have sat and had a conversation with him and worked it out. Because when I went away, I remember him saying he wanted to bring somebody through and he lost and he, he you know, he wanted to bring somebody through, but the only thing person he could relate to that he got was a, a, a good friend. And, and I feel like he lost his legs, but he was still here. And I feel like, oh my God, when I, when I went home, I thought that was the person that was, so I was feeling and it was his friend, but there must've been somebody in spirit who was coming through. And I thought it was this person in the legs, but it wasn't, it was the person who was on the earth plane. And, and it was just somebody talking about him. Anyway, I, I might not be quite right by saying that, I'm just saying it now because this was over six months ago, but I just remember it vividly. And basically because he was drunk and the way he was being abusive to me, I couldn't sit and have a, a, a grounded, logical conversation with him to sort the message out because I feel like now looking back, the message was right, but because of the way he was, we couldn't put it together correctly. So please, do not get drunk. That is just a big no-no, okay? And then with you, it's yourselves as well, sometimes we want a certain person to come through. And you no, know, I get that, I completely understand it. And sometimes it's like when I go to the spiritualist, I want my mum come through, okay? And never does, you know, never does. And it's because you got again, you've got to think spirit is vast around us, like I said before. So I might draw to somebody else who wants to come through, or it might be who I draw to. So it isn't always what we want. So do be more open minded for other people coming through, even if you don't know them. You need to go away and think about it. Okay. And whatever you do as well, I get when you're not getting the message, but whatever you do, don't keep saying no, no. No, no, because that puts a block on the energy. It's it's like, no, don't do that, please. Not just for me, for any medium. You know, if if it doesn't make sense, just just say, I can't quite understand that, but I will think about it. Just think about it. I've had so many people, you know, it, it's like they just block it out and I can't. I cannot, you know, I will throw it out to the audience to see if it makes sense somewhere else. And then if not, then I've got to come back to you. But please just don't keep saying no, no, because I can't take away what I've got. I know what I'm seeing. And sometimes it's like I'm putting you on the spot and you've got to sort of sit and think about it. And I can understand at that moment in time, you are probably absolutely right. No, it doesn't make sense. And I get that, I understand that, and I will try and say that to you in that nice, calm, polite way. But I always say, but just please just think about it, but let me just keep saying what I've got to say. Because let's just say, you might not know that person, and maybe you're absolutely right, but for some reason they do know, they do know you. And you may have no connection with them, but they've got something important to tell you. But because we keep blocking it out with the no and no and no, I can't get through to you. I can't tell you what they want to tell you. And that message could be something simple. It could be life changing. But if you block it out, I can't give it. So this is just one of those things. But I, I get it when we don't understand it. As many times I've gone to the spokes church and sometimes I don't know people, but I don't just sit there and say to the medium, no, no, no. I listen, I put it to the back of my thoughts and I try and figure it out. And I know nine times out of 10 I won't because I'm the baby of the family and I don't always know anybody. So I know it's not that that medium is wrong. It's just probably I just don't know them. Um, so I... I, I put it to the back of my thoughts and, and I try and think about it and see if it comes to me. But if not, that's okay. I accept the message. Thank you very much for the message. Um, but I listen to what he's trying to tell me about maybe the bit of guidance bit. But then sometimes there is no guidance, you know. So like I say, just listen to the medium. He will accept that you don't get it and understand it. But if you can just think about it, and it could be weeks, months go by, and then something might just come. But then it might not do. And I, I get that. So, yeah. So, about accepting the messages. Don't get drunk. 
and just have an open mind and and then just enjoy that okay and also the medium is always conscious of, of you having a break um so you can refresh yourselves have a drink um so if you can perhaps wait till the medium's finished uh that would be always wonderful and polite not just polite to the medium but polite to other people who are trying to listen and, and just be patient uh, and um, that's basically it and and i think i've just said some positive things there not just for me but for other mediums out there and that would be wonderful um so i hope you've enjoyed that i hope you've made sense of how I kind of work and possibly how others work. I hope you've kind of made sense of how to present yourself moving forward and I hope it's given you some positive wisdom there to enjoy a show. So thank you very much for your time for listening. It's been a long-winded video, 30 minutes, but I've packed all the information in and thank you very much. So great. Bye-bye.